Hey everyone, I'm Sarah, and this is Courageous Color. Today I'll be showing you how I set up this double mast H frame easel that I bought on Amazon from US Art Supply. So I don't have an affiliation or a sponsorship with them, but I will link it down below anyways, just because I absolutely love this easel. So if you want it to, you should be able to get it. Now there are three major parts and we'll be starting with the bottom or the base. You'll need your 10s, your 11s, your A screws, and the wheel package that also has some screws in it. Uh, you also want to get out the two screwdrivers that came with um, the easel. Now I know that the instructions that come with this easel are a little confusing, so I'll try to walk you through it as easily as possible. Okay, so you have your two screwdrivers and you have four A screws selected out of that bag of A screws. You wanna take the bolt off of the screw and put the bolt in the hole that's in the number 10 piece. And then you wanna hold that in with the flat head screwdriver. Now I need to turn this over. I thought I could lay it out the way that it's gonna look when it's finished, but this hole is much easier to access if you flip it over. So hold the bolt in the number 10 piece with the flat head screwdriver and then put the screw in the bottom of the 11 piece and you can use the Phillips head screwdriver to tighten that into the bolt and then you're going to do that four times all the way around and you'll just make a square for the bottom. And if you have any questions at all just drop them below in the comments and I will make sure to answer them as clearly as I can. Also just FYI uh, I should put it out there that I was determined to make this easel by myself. So I could have had my husband um, hold the pieces for me and sort of help me out. But I was really determined to make it myself just to see can one person put this together on their own. So some of the steps, um, I have to sort of maneuver the pieces a little bit weird. So, you know, it might be helpful to have someone there to lend you a hand but if you don't have anybody there to lend you a hand, you can totally do this by yourself. Now we're still on part one. We're making the base and we are just taking the A screws and we're putting that bolt inside of the 11 piece, I mean inside of the number 10 piece, and then we're putting the screw inside the number 11 piece and we're sort of holding it and screwing it at the same time so that the screw will go through the hole and then latch onto that bolt from the inside and then tighten these pieces together. So, so far, these instructions are pretty simple. We just repeat that step around all four corners and then we have the base of the easel. Once you've made this and it's all tightened up and it's all done, you wanna make sure that you, it should look like this when you're done, um, you wanna make sure that you flip it over so that you can see the four pre-drilled holes in the corners on the bottom. Now the wheels package comes with four screws for each wheel. You just wanna align each wheel with the pre-drilled holes and then tighten it down with the Phillips head screwdriver. And you repeat that process on each corner, so four times. Pretty easy steps so far, uh, but let me know in the comments if you're having any trouble with it. And if this video has been helpful for you so far, make sure you give it a thumbs up. So you probably noticed while you were putting the wheels on that they have this really cool locking feature. So at first they, they roll and then if you press this little latch down, they stop and they lock. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so now that the bottom square is done, in order to complete the base, we need to add these supporting bars or legs to the easel. So here's a quick shot of all the pieces that you'll need. Uh, this is your two screwdrivers, as well as your A screws, D screws, B screws, and C screws. We've also placed out our sevens and twelves uh, for the front support legs and the eight and nine pieces for the back support legs, which are, uh, which later on help to adjust the easel, like if you want to lay it flat like a table. 
as you can see, the eights and nines come together, um, but I wanted to separate them just to show you that it is two pieces. The number seven pieces are going to fit into these slots just like this, but I'm gonna take them out for a moment so that I can prop this up. Again, I'm making this all by myself, and I wanna prop this up because the screw hole that you need to um, go ahead and screw into is actually on the bottom of the easel. Makes for a great support, but if you're doing this yourself or if you need to get a hand, you do kind of have to prop it up so that you can fit the screw into the bottom. And then uh, right here, we're using an A screw. We took the bolt off and put it into the number seven piece. And then we're gonna put the screw right up the bottom and tighten them together. Complete this step on both sides with your number seven pieces and an A screw for each side. And then we'll attach the number 12s to stabilize this support. If you're following along with the paper instructions, this is all part of step number two. We'll attach the number 12 pieces with the D screws, four screws for each side, and then tighten them down with the Allen wrench that should be in that bag of screws. Then repeat that on both sides and we're almost done with the base of the easel. I know these steps can be a little repetitive, so I'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit um, while I'm screwing these in. And in the meantime, if you're having trouble, just let me know in the comments if you have any questions or concerns about how to put the easel together or if you need to know um, really anything about it. I've been using it for a few months now. I really love it. And uh, if this video has been helpful so far, definitely drop a like uh, and subscribe to my channel for more art videos. So we have a couple of more screws to put in here and then we're gonna go ahead and put in our eights and nines using the C screws and the B screws. So here we go, these are the slide pieces for the back. Later when the easel is fully assembled, these are the pieces that will help us, you know, if you want the easel to lay flat like a table. Uh, it's a really, really great feature on this easel. And so we're gonna go ahead and put the number eight with the number nine in it right there on the back. So you're gonna line it up that way and then you're gonna use your C screw, okay? So you're gonna kind of reach from the inside and push the C screw towards yourself and then twist that black knob onto the outside. And then later this will help you, you know, sort of adjust these legs however you need them to be so that your painting can lay down flat or dry that way. Um, and it's, like I said, it's a really great feature. Okay, so we're gonna stay on the same side and put the nine piece into the eight piece and make sure the screw is facing just like this, that screw hole. You're gonna do the same thing with the B screw. So you're gonna push the screw sort of from the back towards yourself and then put the washer on and then screw on the B, the letter B screw, uh, the black knob part. And again, this is to help you adjust um, the height and then the uh, whether or not it stands up straight or it goes flat. So you just make sure that you screw those in just like that on both sides so that the knobs are on the outside and it should look just like that. And then you will be good to go. In the next step, we're gonna be working on that piece that's farthest to the left. This is the wrong way to do it. The instructions don't tell you, but this is the right way to do it. So feel free to look back and forth, but basically the difference is that there are these gold stairs, I guess I'm calling them, and um, that metal you know, zigzag is going to help you adjust the height of your easel. So the instructions do not say whether to put them closer to those metal clips at the bottom or whether to turn them around. So the first time I made it, I made it the wrong way. But I quickly realized after I made the piece with the art tray on it that you can't slide that piece up those little metal stairs unless you put them on this way. So when you're lining up the pieces for this slidey middle part of your easel, make sure you do it like this. On the paper instructions, this is step three. Once you have all of the pieces together, just like this, you're going to use those same A screws uh, and you're gonna put the bolt right in the hole and then 
put the A screw down like that, and you can hold it with your finger or with the other screwdriver. Um, after I made the first part of this, I realized that like it was way too cumbersome to keep holding both of the screwdrivers. So I just started holding it with holding that little bolt in the hole with my finger. And so there's four of these, two on that side and then two on this side. And you'll see the little hole. You just put the bolt in there and then you screw down into it and then the same at the other end. To complete this piece, you simply turn the E knobs into these little holes that sit right behind those metal clips. Next up, we have the last big section. This covers parts number four and five on the paper instructions. We'll be making the art tray and the back piece that holds your canvas. You'll want to flip over the art tray and line up the number five pieces with the pre-drilled holes on the number six piece, which is your art tray. Use the F screws to attach the number five piece to the number six piece. And the number 14s should be inside of the number fives. This again is another adjusting piece later when you want to lift your canvas up or down. This completes step number four on the paper instructions. Next, we'll attach the adjusting screws and slide this big section onto the H-frame. You'll need the package labeled G. Place the art tray section face down and then use the screws that came in the package labeled G to attach these adjusting pieces, like so. Next, you'll want to lay down the H-frame, the section we made in step three, and then slide the art tray section on top of it and fit the side into the notch on the H-frame. Then I want to show you how this works. So the holes on the adjusting pieces should be facing you so you can pull on them and then adjust the easel just like this. Okay, so we're going to backtrack back to step five just for a second so we can put on the number 13 piece that you see right here. Don't forget to like this video and ask questions in the comments if need be. The first thing you want to do is open the package labeled H and take this funny little gold bracket and place it into the holes on the number 13 piece. So it looks like this. Then you'll slide those pieces on top of the number 14 piece, just like this. And then screw in the black knobs that were inside of the package labeled H, so they look like this. Then make sure you slide up the number 14 piece and put this little gold bracket inside of there as well. This will help with the tension of the knobs later on. I'll show you the back view of the easel so you can see all the knobs that came in that H package and how they should be attached. The last major step is to attach the two big pieces that we have so we can stand up the easel and start using it. Okay, so we have the J knob screws, the I knob screws, and the number 15 circles. I know I told you before in the video that I was determined to make this easel myself. So for me, it was easy just to flip these pieces over onto their sides and line them up and then screw them in. If you come up with a better way, let me know. But even if you have a hand and someone helping you, this was a pretty good way to get everything lined up so that I could attach everything. So for me, I just stood in the back and I attached the back section of the part that holds the canvas to the base using the J screws. And then in the front section that's closer to the art tray, I put the number 15 between the pieces and then attach the eye screw. And I made sure that the knobs were always on the outside so they could be accessible to me when I needed to adjust the easel later on. So right here, I'm inserting the eye screw and then the number 15 piece between the two major big sections that we built. Then I put the washer on and then the knob. Once again, I've got to go around to the back 
and insert the J screw. And this time it's gonna be face down so that the black knob will be on the outside of the easel. So I just put the screw in and then I put the washer on the other side and then I attach the black knob. I'm gonna repeat the same steps for the front part as well. Insert the I screw and then the number 15 piece between the two big sections and then the washer and then the knob. Once you have completed this step, you can lift up the easel and adjust it however you need it to be to start painting and creating, and you've done it. This is it, congratulations. Thank you so much for watching this video and building this easel along with me. I hope you love it as much as I do.